Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I forgot I was looking at this guy. Oh, jeez. Oh, hey, look, a puzzle on the door over here. That looks interesting. Oh, okay. Um, over under on this just being another discrimination puzzle. Okay, I guess not. So, stuff like that doesn't work. Maybe doing something like this? Uh, well, this is intriguing, ain't it? I mean, I would have imagined that just kind of breaking up all the colors. Well, then again, you can't even do that here. I think this is where I got stuck last time. <laughs> you know what? Red and blue make... Well, hold on, actually. We could break it up into primary colors and then shades and, and others. Well, never mind then. Red and blue make purple. Okay, I don't know how these work. Maybe we'll find that out on the next episode. <laughs> Till then, like, comment, anyways. Uh, did we decide that this beam doesn't go anywhere yet? I think we may have decided that that beam doesn't go anywhere. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, this kind of looks like... This kind of looks kind of hellish. Just a little bit. This kind of looks wacky. I was thinking maybe I had to, like, mimic the piece there. I think I probably do, actually. I wonder if I can do something like this. Because I, I didn't think too hard about how this is making, like, a, a tetraonimo. Hopefully there is a, a more rudimentary puzzle of the same kind of version somewhere. Because otherwise I'm going to be really having a time, ain't I? Uh, there is, of course, always the, uh, let's just follow chords. I do this all the time. I think I might be going bass backwards with it, but I do it a lot. Probably. Right. Right. Okay. I think this is the end. That would make sense. Unless, 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 this is the puzzle. It is! Uh, what do I want to shine it on, though? Where do I want to shine this? Because I'm assuming that this reflects. Okay, it does. It does. It does. That's good. Um, okay, it's going way the heck... Oh, okay, that kind of snapped, so I think that's right. Nice. <laughs> I'm actually really liking this. Um, and then I found an area full of puzzles that I just didn't understand. So, you know what? I'm going to find the more rudimentary versions of these, I suppose, and then we're going to do them later. We'll come back to this, though. So, yeah. <laughs> but it'll it'll see, it seems like it's going to be much much later much later jeez I, I wasn't exp I wasn't hoping for this to be like an exploration episode I mean I guess I didn't really check to see what this did I should probably retry this what does it do what do it do okay the windmill is kind of spinning that's nice. Oh, I think it may have been blocking the light. Like I can get it to block the light, but it wasn't. It wasn't originally, so that's something. In it. Okay, never mind. It doesn't actually block the light at all. Huh. Weird. Well, was the paddle of the windmill blocking something? Because that one's broken, I guess, like, the paddle unblocks something. Oh. Oh. The windmill itself is a puzzle. Oh. 
Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, this is going to be quite something, isn't it? I'm not even sure how I... What, what's the goal? Where is the goal? I mean, I can only really take this so far anyways. So let's, I guess, take it this direction. I think the goal... Oh, okay, I see it. I see it now. I see it now. The goal is... Um, on the, the one counterclockwise from, from the one I'm on right now. Ha 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 now I just wait. I play the waiting game. Or I guess there are three different goals. Like I can do come on, come on, come on, I'm waiting. That. And it does something. Uh somewhere. I guess. God, okay. You know what? This this whole area confuses me anyway, so I'm gonna follow that trail. Uh it went somewhere over here. Are there, like, how many, how many, uh, obelisks are there? Hey, here's one. Is this the only obelisk? Uh. Huh. Weird. That's weird and wacky. Oh. Uh. Um, it's got a bunch of answers on it. I guess you answer it in different ways and it fills out stuff. It's kind of weird and wacky. Um, I guess. Whatever. I mean, I have half a mind to go there, but that's probably some end game stuff. And again, this area over here confuses me. So, hey, look, a door with another puzzle on it. And this looks like one that I've seen before, I think. I mean, this looks to be like that would solve it. Hey, nice. And... great. Well, I'm still thinking that this is going to be something like that. You know? And in that case... Um... God, how would I even get that other Tetronimo to show? Yeah, yeah, we all kind of know where this is going. We haven't done any of the Tetronimo puzzles yet. We'll get there. We'll get there in a little bit. But, yee, I have no idea how to do this one. Um, we do a Tetronimo puzzle later in the episode. So, you know, we'll, we'll see kind of how to do, how to approach them then. But right now? Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing here, man. Sheesh. Uh. Let me in. Let me in. I, I just, I, I really don't want to end an episode of a puzzle game without solving any puzzles. <laughs> That's uh, kind of pathetic, I'd say, so... I'm, I'm gonna find some puzzles I can solve. I've already done a couple, but, like, they're all in different places. They're all mismatched. And, well, hey, here's something. A nice big castle. I don't know where this is with reference to what I was doing earlier, but it's a nice big castle, at least. Nice courtyard, all that. Some a maze, a hedge maze. How about that? There's a... Uh, Stuff and things, I'm sure. Oh, no. I'm going to have to remember where the freaking maze is. Yeah. Look at that. Way off in the distance. <laughs> I can still do it, though. I'm going to guess it's that. Okay. Never mind. Well, I mean, actually, this path is open. So, down, over, and out. Uh, which I believe was like that. Yes! Okay, that's the kind of environmental puzzle I can get behind. Maze solving is easy. Come on. Uh, right? Okay, there's grass now. 
I see the problem. Okay, 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 okay. Right, left, um, great. Okay, okay, okay. I, I, I'm like, my mind is kind of converting this topologically as we speak, and I don't know how to explain that I just kind of understand that it's something like this. I really don't know how to, okay, well. About me knowing what it looked like. <laughs> About the whole me knowing what I'm doing thing. Alright, we go all the way through here. And then we go around these two squares. Well, that's nice. The two little squares are the uh, around points, so it's not bad. Was I already over here? No. Did I come up from... Oh! Huh. That's nice. This place is weird. I, uh, I'm going to have to get used to that, I guess. Another hedge maze! Let's go. Oh. Um... Oh, great, the crunch. I think it's, okay, okay, all the quiet places, oh jeez, this is great, hold on. I believe that what I just did was this. Yes. Oh my gosh. That was a weird one. Am I supposed to be listening to something for this? Oh, I see the problem. I think. Okay, the puzzle doesn't actually coincide with the maze. <laughs> oh, jeez, that's kind of hellish. Um, oh, boy. So, I'm going to see if I can have eyes on the maze while I'm doing this. So, we start over here. Can't go forward, so i got to go to this side. I believe this is two blocks over. That should be right. Right, so this this path doesn't actually exist. Actually exist. Uh, so, two more blocks forward, I guess. And two... No, that's not right. In the middle of that L shape, so this part right here. Well, I'll see if I can actually... God, I'm not zooming in, sorry guys. We're over here. We're over here right now. Um, and then over... Up, forward, up through the middle. Okay. Let's see if I can actually show that. Yes! Nice! Well, hey, that was amazing. <laughs> I know. I'm very funny. I, ho I really hope that the sigh, uh, like, was caught on, on, uh, Oh, great, another stone man. I don't know, he's, he seems like a pretty cool guy. He doesn't, he seems like he doesn't want me, oh my gosh. He's got a sword and everything. Pete, you're, you're telling me that a guy wearing a wire and a suit and tie carries a sword? I, I don't know, that's like a bit too cool for me, man. He's a sick dude. Oh, jeez, there's so many stone people. Oh, no. That's a woman. It's two women, I think. I think. I mean, she's wearing the, like, fencing hood thing, so maybe it's not that bad. I don't know. What in the heck is this? Let me guess. I have to do it in a certain amount of time. Or not? Where's the start? Do I just, like... Okay, I get it now. I do, in fact, get it. So, let's... Oh, no. 
Okay. God, this is going to be hellish to explain. Not, not really. All right. I just have to remember which ones I have to step on, actually. So this isn't really bad. It's not actually terribly... At least it doesn't look like it's terribly difficult, but I guess it kind of is, because there's only one way through here. But I guess it's just forward first, and around, back, like that. So I have to do something like... Cool. Uh, so, putting that into practice. This is interesting, isn't it? I gotta say, I sure hope the king is pleased with my performance, because otherwise, I apparently am going to not be very happy later. Okay, that still counted. Good! Good! Hey! Well, isn't that me? Is that a... Okay, never mind. I thought he was holding an axe for a second. The guy was holding an axe. Okay, well, at least these are puzzles we've done before. I can actually... Oh. Well. <laughs> well. Right. I can do this. Can I? Hold on. This is going to take a bit of thinking, but I, I I at least know which ones I have to be wary of. It's just the four corners. So I think I have to start with something like this. And then I'd imagine I go back through the middle. Somehow. Like this, I'm thinking. And then... Oh, this should work, because then everything is separated. Yeah. See? I told you. And... Yeah. Really. This place is whack. Oh my gosh. A thief, I think. That or somebody just carrying bags. I guess that's fully possible. Oh, well, uh, there goes... <laughs> there goes any chance of me knowing what I'm doing. <laughs> well, okay. I want to I want to try and see if it would work. Assuming this is the start, I want to see if it would work to do something like this, and then over and to the end, because that that makes sense to me from like a tetronimo standpoint. Okay, they just automatically light up. I don't actually have to stand on the start for that to happen. That's kind of weird. That's kind of weird and wacky. Oh, I can't get through here. What the heck? Do they reset? Oh, oh, that's a reset. Okay, but you could kind of see what I was going for there, right? <laughs> right, you could see what I was kind of going for there. So that, that actually was the right solution, and I spent the rest of my time not really thinking about how to implement it environmentally and uh, completely forgetting that I actually wanted to do that. So let's just skip to the part where I figure that part out and actually do the puzzle properly. How about that? This line right here has to be turned on. Huh. I mean, I guess that's not a problem, is it? No, I don't think it is. No, it's not at all, actually, because I can... I don't know why I forgot that this was what I wanted to do from the start. I want to do that. And then when I come up here, I can step on that. And then hopefully I can still get around to the other side somehow. Yeah, I can do that. E. Stupid idiot puzzle. Yes! Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I was expecting to be the stupid idiot. Alright. Well, you know what? Um, I'm gonna open this door. Because this, this led out to where the other puzzles were, right? Yeah. This led out here. Uh, uh -huh. hey, hey, we opened the door! We opened it! And on the next episode, we're gonna do this. Which I, I guess this means that it can rotate? Um, because they're not, like, in a solid grid. Whatever. We're going to worry about that next time. Till then, like, comment, and subscribe, or I will uh, wring your freaking neck. <laughs> Bye!
Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.